Hi everyone, Mike here from Player One Ready. Welcome to the FIFA 18 Team of the Season review. This time it's another comparison review of Joseph Ilicic uh, and Luis Alberto. So Ilicic plays for Atalanta, uh, Alberto for Lazio. So first of all, we're going to break down into this guy. I'm not going to say his name again because I hate pronouncing it. But if you want to see uh, Luis Alberto straight away, then skip to 3 minutes 12 and that will start there. So he scored six, uh, played six games for me, nine goals and three assists, um, which isn't great. I wasn't really great with the team. He's a decent card though, so we're going to go to his in-game stats first of all. 89 positioning, 89 finishing, 99 shot power, 99 long shots, 91 volleys, 89 penalties, 93 short passing, 84 long passing, 87 curve, 95 free kicks, 88 crossing, 93 vision. 87 reactions, 97 ball control, 93 dribbling, 87 composure, 81 heading, 85 stamina, and 85 strength. So, I scored more with him than I did with Alberto. Um, got far less assists, despite the fact he's got better passing. Uh, well, he hasn't, he hasn't, but he's got better vision by one, so he's not really got much, much better stats in that department. But I did get more assists with the Alberto, more goals with the Illichich. And this card isn't bad. I will, I, I will say that now. He's... There's a reason why he's one of the, he's, he's, he's the cheapest team of the season in the Serie A. There's a reason for that, I'll be honest with you. But it's not bad. His finishing's good when I got chances for him. It was very, very good. Um, his dribbling is decent. He turns well. Um, his, well, he, he doesn't turn well. He keeps, he keeps the ball well, keeps it under control well when he's, when he's moving with it. But his agility and his balance are, are, are poor, I'll be honest with you. Uh, his strength helps with his balance because he doesn't get knocked off balance that badly because he can hold he can hold people off. But when he when you come against a defender that is stronger than him and you will do because he only he only has 85 strength, then you start to notice how bad his balance can be. His agility at times can be a little bit lackluster. I'll be honest. Uh, three star weak foot again is pretty damn poor. Going into his pros, um, his finishing for what I did score with him were, were good. Scored a couple of really tasty long shots with him. His passing was decent, although I didn't get as many, many assists as I would like with him. His ball control dribbling, as I've said, is good. And he does have four-star skill, so that does help. Although, be it, albeit, when he tries to do a, we try to do a skill with him, it can be a bit sluggish at times due to his slow balance, low agility, which is a, which can be an issue. Um, again, though, I did score some really tasty goals with him. Um, very, very pleased with the goals that I did score. Uh, he was outshone, really, by Van Basten up top, but... He cost about 50k at the time or something. Well, I think I bought him for 60, but he was about 50k at the time I did all these games. Um, which isn't bad for a, for a team of season of, of, of his stats. And he does have some very, very good stats, as we've, as we've discovered. His long shots were outstanding, as you've seen with 99. You expect that. Um, however, he wasn't overly brilliant in other departments. His passing was decent. He got a couple of a couple of decent assists but um, for Van Basten. But I expected more of him in that sense. I mean, he's not bad. Uh, I can't really complain too much when he cost me 50k. Um, there aren't that many team of the season Syria midfielders that are better. Well, that many team of the season, not team of the season, Syria midfielders that are better. But I would like to see them perform a bit more. Maybe it's partly on me. Who knows? Anyway, going into Luis Alberto, he got seven games played, six goals and eight assists, and I was much more comfortable with creating goals with this guy than I was with Josip, as I'll call him. Um, so yeah, better, more assists, uh, a couple of less, a few less goals, um, but I think I got more out of this guy. To be honest with you, a little bit more expensive, but I think he was worth it. To be honest with you, I thought he was. I thought he improved. He was much, much more of an improvement than the other one. So going into his in-game stats, we've got 92 acceleration, 82 sprint speed. So he's quicker. Um, 98 positioning, 95 finishing. So he's much better in the box. 89 shot power, 98 long shots. So he's got a lot less shot power. Same, pretty much same long shots. Uh, say so less vision, uh, better crossing, worse free kicks, but better short passing and long passing. Better, I don't know about the curve actually. Uh, also better ball control, better dribbling, um, which were very very neat. I have to be said. I haven't got any clips to show you, but I, you can take my word for it. They were very very good. Um, however, his stamina is fucking woeful. I'll be honest with you. It's really really poor. Um, Later on in games, okay, let's, let's ignore this first goal. That was a bit shit. That was, it was my bad. It wasn't his finishing. It was my bad for picking the wrong shot. But his um, stamina is absolutely shocking. Of uh, 67 or whatever it was. It's, he just blows out his arse at the 60th minute. And you just can't. Okay, he did a couple of good things later on in, ga later on in the game. But you want someone to be doing better than that. In, in in later on in the game. When, you, when you're spending, when you've got a team of the season. You've got a really high rated player. You want more than that. 
But going into his shooting, some of the goals I did score with him were crackerjack goals. Really impressive. Really impressed with it. Um, I reviewed Team of Season Isco earlier on in the game. Um, this card is probably a little bit similar to that. Um, a, a, you know, a goal scoring midfielder that can create chances as well. So I, I, I was I was happy with it. I thought his, his dribbling was good. He's not elite level team of the season. Neither's neither's the other guy. I'll be honest with you. Um, but again, for a fraction of the price, a lot of team season is going to cost. I thought it was decent, and he uh, he linked up well with the team of season Icardi. He linked up very very well with. Um, I'll do a review on him as well. So show you some of the the assists I got for him. Um, which yes, I think I thought I thought he was an improvement in terms of the passing department and creating chances than Ilicic was. I really do think that. Um, which is which is odd because they're not that they're not that different. Um, with, their, with their stats but he seems to just link up better whether it was the fact he's got better positioning so he's closer to the action in, in, in attacking senses maybe um, but yeah he just, he just he just seemed a lot better at creating creating chances and maybe Akali's positioning was better than Van Basten too knows that was a great ball finished expertly by an expert striker I yeah I would say if it depends what you want really um, actually, actually it doesn't because I think Ilicic, there's not a huge differences between them, um, but I would prefer to use this Alberto. Going again, I would use this Alberto over over Josip. <laughs> I would definitely do that. So that is my advice. If you're going to spend, if you don't want to spend too much money, you want to team the season, go with Luis Alberto. You can get past this stamina issues. Really, I think you can. Um, changing formation maybe or. Uh, to stop some stop him from trying to wander. He has got a high low work rate, high attacking, low defensive work, which does help his stamina in a way because it doesn't he doesn't mean he wastes it all trying to get back because he doesn't want to do that. So going to the final screen, I'm going to give Luis Alberto a four and a half because he is very very good. It's just that stamina lets him down. If he had better stamina, he'd be five for me. Um, but I can't really argue with his value for coins because of that and because he doesn't perform later on in games. Uh, he's not the player he, he could be, so I'm going to give him a four value for coins. As for Lucic, he's not far off Alberto, so I can't mark him down too harshly. Um, so four value for coins, four rating as well. He's not brilliant. He's a, he's very very good. He's not phenomenal. So a four, I think, is fair. Anyway, uh, if you like this this review, um, go watch the other comparisons I did. I did Mark Uth and uh, and Peterson. Uh, in the Bundesliga, two other cheap team of the seasons, and please like and subscribe to the channel and. Uh, I'll catch you next time.